Uh, the affirmation of the election, which has been uh, disrupted by the protest, uh, Mr. was Mr. Trump's last chance of forcing a cancellation of the exercise that brought in Democrats, uh, Joe Biden as president-elect, uh, coming days. Well, well, we wait to see how things pan out uh, in in the coming days. Now, uh, I have with me here broadcast journalist uh, Ifi Onyebule to help us make sense. Uh, of what is going on. Well, I, I believe you were watching. Uh, it, it took us back to so, someone, someone yesterday, were talking yesterday, and someone just sat down like, if this is Africa, it would have been, okay, yeah, we know this, this happens very the often. same thing a cousin but of mine said. this is the United States of, of America, America. The almighty United Over States. Over 200 years mm. of hard-earned democracy. Now, what do you make of all of that? I was, I was shocked when I saw it. See the way people were scaling the fence. We just saw how someone was trying to break yeah, in, exactly. into that place. You just wonder, these are things you see in third world countries, as they call us, uh, you know, but for them to get down to that level, mm. I'm just wondering what it was. Was it that they didn't know that it was going to be a mistake when the man was actually elected in the very first place? But this is happening now. I'm so surprised the man is even talking back or talking against his own vice mm. president. Of course, the vice president must have seen it that, look, there is no other way. You have to obey the Constitution. Mm, mm. You know, for the U.S., it's about the Constitution. Exactly. It's it is about not the just one man. Mm. It is what the country says. The country is, uh, is exactly what it is that people rally around. Mm. Not just one man. But I think President Trump is making it look like it's all about him. He keeps fighting. I hear he's looking for how many votes? 11,000 something <laughs> votes. And I'm wondering where those votes are. Maybe they're in my village for crying out loud. But you'll be surprised at the number of Nigerians who are still rallying around the man. No, of Pray. course. The, the point is, he has a lot of supporters. In fact, for, <laughs> for them to be able to gather together uh, and match in, in unison to the capital uh, in Washington, D.C., it tells you that he still has a lot of supporters. Uh, even from, if, you, if you go on Twitter, on social mm. media, mm. and get reactions from across the world, it tells you he still has supporters. Yes, people still support him. Of course, people will still support him. But I'm thinking... He needs to understand that in their America, mm. as it is from the things we read, the reports That the whole hear, world is trying to copy. Everyone is watching. Mm. Did you read what the Prime Minister of the UK said? Mm. The man said, look, this is not what it's supposed to be. You have to lead by example, let people understand exactly what it is that's going on. But with, mm. what, with, with the uh, condition, with what it is we're seeing now, I'm just hoping that they're able to get back where it is. That no, of course, to be. America will get back. Is this going to be the yeah. fall of America? <laughs> Let's hope that it's not. Now, the, the point is, uh, uh, he, he sent, President Trump sent a video message yesterday uh, telling his supporters that it's time to go home. But before saying it's time to go home, he took time to say that the election was stolen from him, the election was By stolen who? from them, and that uh, this is one of the worst uh, elections and all of that. Now, the point there is, those who are claimed to have s stolen the election, I wonder if they are Zimbabweans or they are Nigerians, oh, Nigerians or they are or Chinese Ghanaians, or something. As it is. These are Americans for crying out loud. And someone was saying this morning before we got here, to, he, he said, look, you're making the Democrats look like they're aliens from mm. somewhere. They didn't <laughs> drop from anywhere. These are Americans, Americans. like you. Mm. Republicans have been there. Even the people who have been president, Republicans who have been president, mm. they never stood behind you. They have never, mm. ever supported what it is that you're doing. So what are you waiting to understand that it's time to actually, you know, make that call mm. to say, well, this is how it is. Congratulations. It's about the country. Mm. Let's move together. But remember what it would be like if this was happening in Africa. Oh, of course. You know, it, it would be, be we're used to news. it. I know, we're used to it. That, that's how it goes. We're you used know. to it. So before you start to call African countries mm. names, I think the U.S. needs to begin to look inward now. Look at yourself. Look at what it is that's gone on. Mm. It has gone down in history. Those videos will continue to play. Exactly. Because I'm wondering, who are these people? Look at how they are. It, it the is place. likely that... that that those videos and that those happenings will not necessarily haunt President Trump alone, even after he leaves the office. Mm. It is about the, his political party. At this point in time, a lot of people from the analysis expect that leaders of Republican Party, 
should come out to say no. We were not in support of how things went during the election. But at this point of invading the capital, no, 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 no. This is a I'm no, surprised. no. I'm surprised they're This is, this not is talking. way above uh, or way beyond the border and all of that. that. We're not hearing things like that. I'm surprised that they're not talking because that's what they're supposed to do. Mm. These are elder statesmen. And sta and you know the respect their el no, elders, mm. their politicians, as it is to respect them. But why they're not coming out to talk is what I truly don't understand. But Mr. Trump needs to understand also that from time, from day one that he got there, not... Not a lot of people, the real people, support him as it is. Remember when he, he had to be prompted to say, call them what they are, mm -hmm. the white supremacists. And he, he never did. He was looking at the man in the eye to say, what do you want me to call them? He was still, you know, egging them mm -hmm. on and all of that. Is that the America that everyone wants, to, a lot of people want to go to? I may not say everyone, because I've, I've read about people who have left America. There's a particular family who have moved out to say, look, this is not the America where I want to bring exactly. up my children. Mm -hmm. Some of them are looking to some other countries in Africa and some other countries in Europe, because they don't like where it is that the country is going. But I'm just saying, look, they need to wake up because the devastating effect of... I'm sure you understand also that they are battling the coronavirus. So imagine what that, will happen that, with what's that, going that, on. In fact, the point there is, like, like, like our NCDC uh, Director General was saying that all the issues that happened during the Christmas period, we're going to see the consequences we will. In, in January and in February we because will. people were... So, this, this singular act of people coming together, close to 30,000 people at the Capitol, this, there could likely be uh, consequences going forward in the next uh, few months, maybe. There will be. Then again, we would not also fail to uh, talk about the fact that the houses now in, mm. in the U.S. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure they're happy about that, <laughs> that maybe the Democrats are going to be in charge. Take control so like, of both houses. It's like they've taken mm. over. And I'm wondering, these are Americans who have taken over the race to say, Let's make America better mm. than what it is. Yeah. yeah, Trump wanted to make America great again. Let's give him the credit for four years. He's made it great. Well, you know, but the, someone the, wants to make it better. But Biden is taking it in his stride. Mm. I'm sure, I hope they don't wear the man out. Well, the point <laughs> is, being the president of the United States, he, he, he knows that it's a normal task mm. because you are like the president of the world. So you're not just looking at issues within the... The, the, just the, the party, the, 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 just the party, or even within the the, the country of the United States, you're looking at the entire globe. Because whatever decision uh, or foreign foreign decision or foreign you know uh, interest that America takes has has impact, you know, on across other the countries. World. On now, other but countries. What, what do you think um, Biden coming in from the twentieth of January does this make his task even bigger because for him to first unify the entire country and what do you also make of if trump supporters are doing this they could keep doing this even after yes uh, if, there are, no, if there are no consequences mm. if there are no consequences right. they will continue to do this have you noticed how emboldened they are mm. it never happened during the time of obama even though a lot of people did not agree with a black man. Of course, they were, they, they were throwing shades at him, his wife, and all of that. But of course, that's true. When you look at Fox, Fox supports the Republicans. <laughs> and you have CNN always championing the cause of the Democrats yeah. as it is. But I'm just saying that if there are no consequences, if people are not brought to book, if people don't you know, pay the price for what it is that they've done, they will continue. But this is a new precedent, if, mm. if you ask me, right there in America. So they need to wake up, do the right thing, but it's going to be a huge task for uh, uh, President-elect uh, Joe Biden mm. as he tries to bring people together. Is that going to be easy? Mm. That's what we wait. The world All is right. waiting. Now well, we wait to see how, how it goes. Out. Like you said, it was, uh, and uh, we saw the emboldened, people were so emboldened. Mm. Someone went into the office of the uh, uh, Speaker Pelosi and sat on her seat Writing, we just were like not what happened down. during the end, sir. Yeah, exactly, where people walked in where they were not supposed to well, be. Well, we, we wait to see how America will handle this, but everything is getting calm now, as from the reports we're hearing. So, let's see how it goes uh, for the United States and as the world is watching. Thank you very much, Ifeonye Bule. Thanks for having me. I hope me to see morning. you again. Yeah. <laughs>